Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com, and welcome to the report for Sunday, September 22nd, 2019. It is week three in the NFL. we got a few things to talk about before I get to my free NFL pick for Sunday. Uh, first of all, if you've yet to take advantage of the 33% off offer in football for the rest of the season, be sure to do so today because it won't last forever. And uh, here's what you do. Real good example of how you get this done. Let's say you go to DocSports.com to my homepage and you want to purchase my football package, which includes college football and the NFL both purchase that package for the rest of the season you can get it for 33% off you click on the rest of the season and you'll be asked for a code that code is FB season 33 it's as simple as that all one word FB 33 excuse me FB season 33 I'll say it once again FB season 33 that'll be the code and that'll get you 33% off the rest of the football season both college football and the NFL over at DocSports.com and again if you're interested in that go grab it now because it won't last forever from what I'm being told by the brass over at DocSports.com all right here we go uh, Sunday's card we're going to get to our NFL and our WNBA and all that kind of stuff we got going in just a second we did pick up 10 10.5 units overall on Saturday. Uh, we had the top play winner, seven unit winner on the Washington Huskies over BYU. By the way, we also won in NASCAR again, nine and one our last 10 races, 16 and four, 80% going back to May 1st. We had Denny Hamlin, round a dollar 25 favorite over Joey Logano. We got the win with Hamlin, red hot. Don't miss out on next week's NASCAR. I'll talk more about it as we get closer to next weekend. We won in baseball, but here's the thing. I looked at the baseball card for Sunday uh, twice and I just don't like anything. I expect to be in action on Monday, but we're going to take a rare pass on Sunday. Uh, with yesterday's win, we're now 60% winning tickets in baseball in the month of September, uh, so don't miss out on that. Now, as far as everything that's going on on Sunday, we do have NFL, of course. We've got four plays to go in this package in the NFL. Uh, we've got uh, three plays for Sunday, topped by a big six-star elite-level play. Those plays 2-0 and in football this season. Six-star side on Sunday, three plays on Sunday, plus plus Monday Night Football, all available in the same package. You get them all at the same time over at DocSports.com. Don't miss out. As far as uh, WNBA is concerned, we are back in playoff action on Sunday. The league was off yesterday, two games on Sunday. We've got a play that rates five unit status, elite level, and uh, we head into Sunday 16 and eight with our last 24 WNBA plays. And going back a couple of months now, 42, 23, and two against the spread of the WNBA. It's been a great first season for us in the WNBA and I do appreciate those of you who jumped on board but it's all about the NFL for the most part get that five unit WNBA play don't miss out and again the NFL three Sunday plays the Monday night football play all available right now topped off by Sunday's six unit side and again we'll look to go to three and oh with our six unit football sides so far this season a uh, real quick note before I get to the free pick on Sunday mornings or afternoons depending on what time zone you live in but between 12 30 p.m. Eastern and 12.45 p.m. Eastern. I'm on ESPN every single Sunday, ESPN National. Check out a station near you. And we don't give up picks. You got to get those at DocSports.com. But what I do is offer where the betting reports are. Sharps versus squares, biggest Joes, biggest sharp play. Uh, also, um, where they differ against each other. What's the biggest ticket getter? Which team is getting more tickets than anybody else? All that good stuff and update all that on ESPN National every single Sunday during the football season but doing it for a few years going to give you what it is now as we record this video around 3 p.m eastern midnight 3 a.m eastern excuse me midnight pacific time on sunday morning and going to let you know kind of where these numbers are right now on a couple of plays uh, first of all joe's versus pros one of the bigger joe's versus pros games is denver at green bay packers were as high as eight and a half in some shops in vegas they're now down to seven and uh, 60 percent of the public tickets coming in on green Green Bay, but about 60% of the sharp money has come in on the underdog Denver Broncos. Denver's come down from eight and a half down to seven. Uh, also wanted to mention the Panthers in Arizona. Arizona laying a point and a half. We know that uh, Cam Newton's out. Allen's going to play Kyle Allen. And here's the thing, the public on the Cardinals to the tune of 65% of the tickets, yet about 56% of the overall sharp money is coming in on the Panthers. And that one, biggest sharp play thus far has into the wee hours on Sunday morning for week three. The Giants, they're down to five. They're getting five from Tampa Bay. Remember, they were as high as a 
six and a half point dog. Uh, the Giants have taken about 80% of the sharp money. Biggest public bet so far going into Sunday, the LA Rams, Sunday night football. The public has jumped off the Browns. Rams up to three and a half. And those Rams tickets, how about 80% coming in on the Rams from the public in Sunday night football. So again, we'll update all that and more and have some nice trends and angles for week three, all that good stuff on Sunday. We usually jump on around 12.35 p.m. Um, Eastern time on Sundays on ESPN to give that information. All right, let's get to our free pick for Sunday's card. It is the Falcons at the Colts, and we're going to take the, Col the Falcons here. They're getting about a one and a half. They're down about one and a half right now. Listen, we know about Matty Ice, likes playing in the domes. He's in a dome here. We know about Indianapolis. They've done a pretty good job so far uh, after the sudden retirement of Andrew Luck. Jacoby Brissett's been okay, but he's averaging about five yards per pass, or at least he did last week. It's not going to win games if that keeps going that way. You've got to average seven and a half yards per pass for the most part and you just you just aren't going to keep winning games or being close in games if you're only popping them for five yards per pass attempt and that's where he's at where was last week in their win over Tennessee they did a good job of hanging around against the Chargers uh, could have won that game with breaks going a couple of different ways they caught breaks big time against Tennessee they were down 17-13 in that game at one point and then Wilkins a little used running back who had 18 total rushing yards in his last six NFL games take Takes a handoff with just a few minutes to go and breaks one 55 yards inside the Tennessee five yard line. Indianapolis gets the touchdown a short time later, goes on to get the win. So the breaks have kind of gone their way. I don't think that's going to happen in this game against the Atlanta Falcons. We're going to recommend the Atlanta Falcons plus whatever points you can get. Again, it's about one and a half right now as I speak. So the Falcons plus one and a half over Indianapolis is our Sunday free video pick. We'll look to get uh, the weekend sweep with football. Yesterday here we had Appalachian State over North Carolina. Today it's the Atlanta Falcons over the Colts. And don't forget about Sunday at DocSports.com. Grab that 33% off. And again, six unit play in the NFL. Tops three plays on Sunday plus Monday Night Football. Let's go 4-0 this week. And as far as the WNBA, five unit playoff play on Sunday's card as we look to continue uh, the red hot run in the WNBA that started months ago. That's going to do it for me for Sunday. Listen, we appreciate you guys watching these videos each and every day. If you do like the videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. And I do appreciate those of you who have done so thus far. Scott Sprites or DocSports.com. Let's put Sunday in the win column right back here Monday by 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific. Opening college football line report at that time along with the free pick for Monday's card. We'll talk to you then.